Will Smith, actor, father, husband, and rock slapper extraordinaire. But what is his connection with the Church of Scientology? How does Jada feel about it? And in what way will Tom Cruise inevitably be involved? Keep watching to find out. In Hollywood, Tom Cruise is a celebrity name most commonly associated with Scientology. He is said to have introduced his church's values to many celebrities, including, reportedly, Will Smith. By all accounts, the two appear to be pals. Speaking to GQ in 2021, Smith explained, Tom and I became friends in the middle of his public difficulties. That may have been sometime around 2006, when Cruz caught heat for his eccentric behavior and opinions on Scientology. A year later, rumors swelled that Smith had also joined the church. However, he seemed quick to dispel the idea in an interview with Access Hollywood. After stating that Cruz had indeed introduced him to Scientology, Smith appeared to sidestep any direct association with the church and instead insisted he was simply interested in world religion. However, Smith also spoke out in defense of Cruz and suggested that people were criticizing the movie icon without fully understanding his beliefs. How you gonna not know nothing about Scientology and attack somebody? It's dangerous and it's ignorant. That same month, Smith clarified his personal stance on Scientology to Collider, stating that he preferred to maintain his own sense of spiritualism beyond the scope of organized religion. Reports of the Smith family hanging out with Tom Cruise first began after Jada Pinkett Smith starred alongside the actor in the 2004 thriller Collateral. While she has never publicly followed Scientology, many sources have claimed that not only did Jada once practice it, but that she was also heavily involved in the religion's organization. Former Scientologist Sam Domingo has alleged to the Daily Mail that Jada was not only a member, but also a recruiter who was paid to lure people into the church. She told the outlet, Jada was always around Celebrity Center, doing her own thing with Kelly Preston in the president's office. They were like the Stepford Wives of Scientology. The claim appeared to be backed up by Tony Ortega, a journalist who has extensively covered celebrity involvement in Scientology. On his blog, The Underground Bunker, he claims that Jada was a member of the church and that she was more involved than Will Smith. Ortega wrote, We have known for years that the dedicated Scientologist in the family was Will's wife Jada Pinkett Smith. Jada's alleged connections to Scientology did not end there, however. Defending Tom Cruise for his dedication to Scientology is one thing, but Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith also reportedly donated money to causes associated with the church, taking their rumored involvement to the next level. In 2004, around the time Jada was working with Tom Cruise, she and Will jointly donated $20,000 to a church-run literacy campaign called HELP. The Hollywood Education and Literacy Program has been described as a foundational part of Scientology's homeschooling structure. By 2008, the couple had allegedly far surpassed their original $20,000 donation, with the Will Smith Foundation reported to have given a total of $122,500 to organizations connected to Scientology. While this is a considerable amount of money, however, it is only a fragment of the rest of the $1.3 million in donations reportedly made from the foundation that year. On top of philanthropic support for art and civic groups, money was also said to have gone to a variety of religious organizations, including a Los Angeles mosque and an evangelical Christian ministry center in Philadelphia. Perhaps the strongest suggestion that Will Smith may have once been associated with Scientology is through the alternative school that he and Jada Pinkett Smith launched together. The couple first started a home school in 2007, with their children Jaden Smith and Willow Smith counted among its first students. Robotics expert Maria Ban Jawaharlal, PhD, was a guest lecturer at the school, which he has since described as being located in a big house, occupied by 20 or 30 students. The couple reportedly hired a longtime educator in the Los Angeles school district, Jacqueline Oliver, to make their dreams of launching a proper school a reality. Speaking to the underground bunker, she described how the academy was originally pitched to her, saying, they presented it as an opportunity to found a school. They were going to spend a lot of money. It was going to be secular, and it would use best educational practices. In 2008, Will made moves to launch a physical school outside his family home, spending $890,000 to lease Indian Hills High School. Named the New Village Leadership Academy, the school proved to be controversial from the start. 
Speaking to the Daily Beast, the school's principal, Jacqueline Oliver, alleged that, while Scientology was never explicitly mentioned, study technology was pushed to be the main methodology for learning. According to the official Scientology website, study technology is a term given to the methods L. Ron Hubbard developed to enable individuals to study effectively. It is considered by the church to be an introductory step in the joining process. The methodology has attracted criticism over the years, with the underground bunker once suggesting that study tech turns schoolwork into conditioning. Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith have always maintained that the teachings were secular. However, Oliver argued that not only was the school's curriculum based on Scientology, but teachers also had to become knowledgeable in Scientology before they could start working there. She said, you couldn't interact with the kids until you'd taken a bunch of Scientology courses, and they were still supervised by Scientology teachers to make sure they didn't make any mistakes using Scientology's study technology. Despite her own connections to Scientology, Jada consistently denied that the school was affiliated with the organization, the actor told Ebony in 2009. All I can say is it is not a Scientology school. That it's straight evil to think that I would bring families into that educational institution and then try to get them to convert into some religion. Upon its opening, the new Village Learning Academy raised concerns from many regarding its controversial teaching methods and association with Scientology. David S. Turetsky, a research professor at Carnegie Mellon University, openly criticized the school's apparent usage of the church's training techniques to the Los Angeles Times. He claimed, There is no reputable educator anywhere who endorses study technology. What happens is that children are inculcated with Scientology jargon and are led to regard L. R. Hubbard as an authority figure. When parents caught wind of the new Village Learning Academy's alleged link to Scientology, the school may have started to crumble. In 2013, a source with direct ties to the facility told Star Magazine, Will and Jada put millions into the school, but there's a lot more to a school than money. If people don't agree with the teaching material, then all the money in the world won't save it. To top off those concerns, the school was reportedly also dealing with financial troubles at the time. According to the underground bunker, Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith funded the new Village Learning Academy for the first three years. However, they allegedly struggled to receive the necessary contributions for the school to remain self-sustainable during the final two, and it closed in June 2013. Leah Remini, a former Scientology member and vocal critic of the organization, has not held back about her experience in the church and those she encountered along the way, including Jada Pinkett Smith. The actor told the Daily Beast in 2017, I know Jada's in. She's been in Scientology a long time. I never saw Will Smith there, but I saw Jada at the Celebrity Center all the time. Jada did not formally respond to Remini's claims. However, the actor did post a thread on Twitter to clear the air about any misconceptions of her religious affiliations. She copped to having studied Dianetics, a methodology by which Scientologists attempt to overcome mental health issues. She also claimed that she found study tech to be beneficial. However, she stated outright, I am not a Scientologist. I practice human kindness, and I believe that we each have the right to determine what we are and what we are not. Remini's accusations of course strain between the former friends, but the actor later joined Jada on Red Table Talk in 2018 to address their history. In the episode Setting the Record Straight, Jada confronted Remini regarding the claim she wrote in her 2015 memoir, Troublemaker. Reflecting on the impact of her statements, the author responded, I was just caught up in that pain. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And also the pain of others. Yeah. And the effects that it had. Around the time that Will Smith's private school closed, he starred in the 2013 sci-fi action film After Earth alongside his son, Jaden Smith. The film, directed by M. Night Shyamalan, was a critical failure and underperformed at the box office, earning only $26.5 million on its opening weekend. In addition to the various criticisms of the movie, After Earth was accused of having Scientologist themes. In a piece titled After Earth is Will Smith's Love Letter to Scientology, Vulture even suggested that the film's subtext wasn't subtle at all, and that it featured countless comparisons to the teachings of Scientology. Writing for The Hollywood Reporter, Mark Headley, a former church member, was particularly struck by the dialogue in the film, which he argued was heavily influenced by the doctrines of L. Ron Hubbard. For example, he paralleled this line with some of the church's lessons. Root yourself in this present moment now. Sight, sound, smell, what do you feel? Headley wrote, while undergoing certain types of Scientology counseling, you are asked to recall what you see, 
hear, touch, and smell. This is part of putting yourself in the moment and observing the moment with full perceptions. In 2015, Will reflected that the film was a significant professional low for him, not least of all because he'd brought his son on board the project. He told Esquire, That was the most painful failure in my career. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.